Hi, my name is Kava Saramut. I'm a chemical engineering major here at USF, and my project for this course is an automated titration machine. So when you turn the machine on, the Arduino will initially send the signal to, the st to stepper motor 2, which will actuate the platform up and down. This platform houses the pH probe, a DC motor that, will that has some kind of stirring mechanism to cause turbulence within the solution, and a nozzle, which will dispense base into the acidic solution underneath it. Once the Arduino confirms that this platform is down and in position, it will look for a string from the pH probe. If it receives a string from the pH probe, it'll tell the stepper to run basically a predetermined number of steps that will correspond to what is 0.2 milliliters of base into the um, solution. And at the same time that all that's initiated, it'll also send the signal to a DC motor that will have some kind of stirring mechanism that will basically cause turbulence in the solution so we get a faster pH reaction. Now all of this data is going to be outputted to the serial monitor and MATLAB running on a laptop is going to be looking for that serial information and recording it. And all the calculations for the titration will be done inside MATLAB. That's an important distinction. And we're going to see an animation that basically simulates this platform moving up and down uh, about negative two inches just to rest just above the beaker so that um, splashing of the acid and things are just kept to a minimum within that area, just contained in that area. So here's the current version of the automated titration machine I'm working on. Um, now once I turn this machine on, it's going to bring this array mass down and then it's going to begin cycling the periscopic pump and then once it's finished it's going to go back up and basically just hold this position um, and then it sends all the data over serial to my Mac um, which sends which is being read by MATLAB and MATLAB does calculations once the trial is complete I'm going to run it right now So you can see the boom is coming down, and then the cycling begins. And then this is an exact volume. And there's the pump right there running. And once it's complete, the mass will go back up, but uh, that'll take some time. So I'll cut the video short. Now the mast is going up. 